Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sunday Special. This is a new thing we're doing. I did it last week with Jimmy Johnson's race wins. Just wanted to show those off. And then um, you guys really liked it. So I figure I'll do them kind of every week and uh, I'd ask for recommendations. Um, I did see some recommendations. I want to make sure I make it clear what this is. It's going to be things like sets of cars or things like that. So saying like every race win from 2013 to now, it's not going to happen. Things similar to like Chicago race wins, Bristol race wins, certain track race wins. It could be a set of um, playoff race wins from a certain season, you know, 2018 playoff wins. Um, it could be things like, you know, a certain driver wins like Jimmy's. I, I have a few of those, but you know, like if it was, um, if it was like Chase Elliott or Casey Kane, I, I almost have too many to put in one video, things like that. So, um, that's what it is. So when you're looking at, if you're looking for a one specific car, it, that's not what this is going to be. This is going to be more sets of cars. So it could be things like things I've seen in person could be, uh, cut cu favorite customs I've had made, uh, things of that nature. So anyway, today's we are going to honor the birthday boy or day late, but the birthday boy, um, and our current reigning champion, Chase Elliott. Um, now, if you know anything about my collection, I do have a lot of Chase Elliott cars. So I narrowed it down and I did his Xfinity wins in order. So those are the only ones I'm not waiting on something for. The trucks, there's only three of them. So I haven't done the, that one yet. And the cup one, I'm waiting on all five from actually six because he won five races in the, in the all-star race. So I'm waiting on six cup wins to come in before I can do that one. But I can do his Xfinity ones because I don't have any to wait on. So I figure we're going to do those today. Now, I say Xfinity wins. It's any raced version car. He actually has five wins and a homestead um, in that list of raced versions from the Xfinity series. So we're going to go ahead and check those out in order. Um, I'll start with the one that I um, that's, you know, number six, and we'll get up to number one. So starting first on that list, uh, we're going to start with the number, uh, number six car. It is the 2014 Chase Elliott Chicagoland Race Win Elite. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down here so we can get a quick look at it. Uh, we're just going to zoom it. We're not going to go anything super quick. The big key features on this one is um, not a ton of dirt here. Um, no roof camera, anything like that. Uh, you can see the right side. We have a tiny little scrape with the wall. Uh, we do have a chewed up right side tire, which honestly, this, this is what should make it a really good race win, but let's just say his other ones are even better. Um, that's notable. You can see a little bit of dirt on there. Uh, I said the one little scrape and then hashtag when I was 18, that's the big kicker. That's the one. This is very unique to this car. Obviously we got the rookie stripes. Um, DIN number is 21 on it, but, um, this is number six on that list. Um, it's also very clean. It's, uh, one of the only ones, um, to not, well, I shouldn't say one of the only ones, uh, three of actually four of the six don't have confetti. So yeah. Anyway, uh, number six, the 2014 Chicago land race win elite. And as you can see, I keep these in a box, a sealed box and look how shiny they stay. So I might have to get more of them. All right, so number five on this list. I had a little trouble picking number five, but I did end up finally deciding number five was going to be the 2015 Chase Elliott Richmond Race Win Elite. Um, same kind of story, not a ton of dirt or anything. There is confetti, so we do get black and or blue and white confetti all around the car. Uh, also, one of the cool things of these Xfinity cars is you can see the mirror right there on the side. Big, big mirror as well. See, look at the size of that thing. It's a big mirror. The other ones are much smaller. These, that's a nice, good-sized mirror that they have hanging off that car. Uh, they can break off if you're not careful. Uh, I got Napa know-how. And then uh, the right side, this is another thing. You can see that scrape with the wall, which these Xfinity cars can do that. They can scrape the wall with the right rear all day long. Um, but you can see, get that scrape there. There's a couple, Rocky Ridge, and then that yellow ribbon. Um, no right side window. That's another cool feature um, on this one. And it is DIN number two. So second Elite off the line uh, is the one I got for this Richmond one. And I think there's only like 100 out there. So this is a, probably a pretty rare Elite. But that one will come in at number five. At number four, we're going to go ahead and go with the 2014 Chase Elliott Darlington race win. This was his second career win. Um, you can see we got the NASCAR Green Initiative. We can we've got uh, the mirror there. Um, the biggest kicker on this one is the confetti. We've got this one probably has the most confetti on the car. It's just a tiny bit more than the Richmond. Um, as far as notable race damage, again the right side. You can see he uh, he scraped up the right side there. Um, then right around the wheel well, there's some markings as well. Uh, after that, we've got, um, you know, Napa know-how, rookie stripes. Everything's the same. There's nothing nothing super outrageous, um, but it is Darlington, so that's kind of cool. And as I said, the, the scrape in the right rear is where all the, the notable detail is on it. So that one will come in at number four. Coming into the number three position on this list, you probably can guess it. Maybe not. It is the 2014 
Texas first win. Um, this one has no confetti on it, but the reason it's so much better is look at all the dirt on the splitter. This one has a ton of dirt on the splitter. It was also his first career win, so you can see all that dirt there. You get to the right side, bunch of dirt there, then a bunch of rubber around the right rear from the burnout because we have a chewed up right rear tire here. Uh, let's see if I can flip it all the way up there. There you see it, chewed up right rear tire. And then you can see all the, the race details. So again, this one heavy on the right rear. Din number on this one is four. So I have another low din on this one. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it's basically the metallic Napa blue, which looks amazing, always has, um, is the big kicker. But again, the biggest one on this is all the dirt on the front end. Um, that's what pretty much puts it ahead of the other three on this list so far, which are all obviously the blue Napa 9s. Now we're down to two more, and you can probably guess it's between um, the Homestead one and the Daytona one. So we're going to go ahead and pick our number two car, um, and then obviously by then you'll know what number one is going to be. But the number two on this list is going to be the 2000 and 16 Daytona race win. Now this one's very, very clean. You can see we've got a scrape on the front bumper from all the bump drafting they do. They did a ton of bump drafting. That was back when they could really tandem these up. But the reason this car is up anything higher than these, because there's not actually as much race detail on this one, except for the numbers. Look at these numbers. That sparkling gold number is amazing. So the number alone is what puts it here. Obviously, there's one other item that puts it there, and that's the right rear corner panel damage where Joey Logano basically tried to hook him into the right side, into the outside wall. Um, people don't seem to remember that, but he did. Joey Logano literally nailed him in this corner like he was going to turn him. Um, so how he didn't get turned across the line, I don't know. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, if you watch that finish, he, he pokes to the outside and then turns down immediately. Um I and mean, even Chase comes up as well, but he there there is definitely a hook left, which the only only reason you do that is to spin someone. So I don't know. That just my opinion. I wasn't. I thought of that, and I'm kind of like, eh, turning somebody across the line at Daytona. Saw how that worked out this year. That could have ended really badly. Um, anyway, that's our corner panel damage. It looks really bent in from the side. You can see how it's all dented up and in. Then you get it to look at it from the right view, and it's perfectly flat. That's how good the de uh, the decaling is. It's perfectly flat where it's supposed to be. Turn to this angle, it looks bent, 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 bent. It just looks bent. So good decaling on that one. And, of course, the other biggest kicker is gold numbers. Now, the only other reason I would put anything above this, uh, the numbers are good, um, is if it had, like, some kind of crazy amount of race damage or something like that. And this car delivers on every single front. First of all, dual autographed car, and that's the only way you could get it. So that's number one. Number two, you have roof camera logos. I always like those. Um, that's a big kicker for me. Um, you know, got the mirror and everything there, but the biggest one, you get to the very front of the car and then you got all this dirt. It's just a very dirty nose on this car from Homestead, very dirtied up. And that, I mean, that race detail right there is enough to put it in first place. Oh, by the way, the right side. So on the right side, you can see all gone. Just the whole right rear corner is gone. Um, scraped all down the right side. All the way from up here to the rear, you can see just scraped all out of there. Even white right there at the very end. A little pixelated in spots, but not bad. You got the rookie stripe. But this is also the car he won his championship in or clinched it or, I don't know. He technically didn't even clinch it there, but they made the car. It was very cool how it was all roughed up on the right side. So I thought that was a very, very cool car. And then... Um, you know, as I said, all the dirt on the front of this car also helps that out. So again, you got three big features, dual autographed, actually four, dual autographed, roof camera logos, dirty, dirty, dirty nose, and big time wall scrape. And that's what puts this car at number one. So we're going to get one quick uh, sky view, if you will, of these cars. Um, I'm going to have to get another, uh, another little bit of height on here so that you guys can see all of them in frame. But um, that's basically what we're looking at here. Um, these are all going to end up getting put right back in their cases. Uh, like I said I keep them sealed up so they don't get a ton of dust on them, and it ends up working really, really well. Uh, they're very, very clean, so if I ever sell them, uh, that would be not a good thing for me, but... Uh, they're very, very clean. So uh, anyway, that is pretty much going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed the Sunday special on these Chase Elliott Xfinity wins. Post in the comments below what you'd like to see next week. Um, again, go with things you've seen on my channel that you know I have. I won't be able to get a bunch of new stuff. It's Christmas season. I got other sh Christmas shopping to do, stuff like that. So um, don't be posting. I mean, you can if, if you're wishful thinking. I'm just letting you know that I'm not, I'm not going to go out and buy a whole lot of die cast just to make a video uh, during this season. But um, yeah, go ahead and post them in below. Um, if you've enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell.
bell um, so you don't miss another upload. Subscribe if you've enjoyed. This has been Race Craze. Hope you've had a great weekend, and we'll see you in the next Diecast Review.